Well, Christina just got her face all cleaned up. That was probably one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen you do. I, I have, I had buns in my nose. In my nose, I had to pull it out. Hi, girls. Hi. Well, we're back with our travel trio. They're here to give us the most uh, out of nature this fall, and we're glad to have them back with us. Tracy O'Connor, Carolyn Scott Hamilton are here, welcome and Donna back. Perkins. Welcome, welcome. Back. welcome, welcome. So, Tracy, uh, outdoor destinations that you would suggest? Yeah. So, I'm going to talk about Scotland. Um, I think it's an. Can you do a Scottish accent? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> great, great. There you go. Groovy. There you go. Yeah. That's about as good as I can do. Uh, so, yeah. Your Scotland. Yeah, I have a trip coming up. My fiance and I are going to the UK to watch the World Cup rugby. <gasps> Wow. Is yeah. that a fiance-driven event or is that? It's a him-driven event. Yeah. But so what I'm most excited about, though, is a little adventure that we're doing in Scotland for four days. So I have done a lot of research. So I'm excited to talk about it. Well, let's so take a look. Yeah, we have some do. footage um, that you brought to share with us, yeah. right? Look at that. Look oh. how beautiful so, Yeah, so oh. that's the Isle of Skye. So the Highlands and the Islands are a play. Are, Scotland is known for them. There's over 31,000 lakes as well in Scotland. There are over 700 islands. And the Highlands, that's Edinburgh Castle from the 12th century, and it's built on an extinct volcano. So as you can see, there is so much to see in mm -hmm. Scotland, whether you're a history buff, mm -hmm. which I love learning about history. There's, there are Stone Age settlements there that predate the pyramids, the Great Pyramids. But then there's also just beautiful walks through the valleys and the glens that anybody can do and it's a respite for people who really want to get away a lot of the islands and some of the coastal lands and the highlands are really sparsely it's populated. extraordinary when you yeah. go uh, uh, hiking there. i've been there many times with my husband because he loves golf yes. and golfing is like the best St. Andrews. Thing. it, it yeah. is unbelievable but Birthplace the waterfalls there and the lakes yeah. it's so it's enchanting and beautiful and very there are so many myths there right there's the loch ness monster myth oh, I, I met him why I, <laughs> I interviewed him for hallmark yeah. 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 Okay. Okay, well, can you introduce us? Because yes. I'm going to be there. Next time I go, I'll, Great. yes, I will. <laughs> Excellent. Um, good. Is that what you have for us? Or do you... Yeah, and if people want to know how to save, the best way to travel in Scotland is stay at B&Bs, rent a car, just go and explore. It's a place where you can, it, it's just, it's magical. And for kids, I know everybody always wants to know, well, can you take your kids there? Yes, the Harry Potter train is there. How exciting wow. is that? The Jacobite? I think is what it is. Mm -hmm. This old yes. steam engine. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Well, in, okay. enjoy just enough rugby. Uh, or was it soccer? Soccer. Two games. Yeah, two no, games. Rugby. 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 Yeah. The All Blacks. Yeah. Yeah. Go All Blacks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Carol, what do you recommend? All right. Well, we're going to get you out in nature and you can't get more into nature than camping. And KOA, you can find their campsites all over the country. Yeah, everywhere. And uh, I went to one recently that was really fantastic and we were with a few friends and we were laughing. We we're like, this is not the KOA that we grew up with, you know? Yeah. Um, you can do everything from your usual roughing it with a tent to glamping with these beautiful, these cabins that are like two stories and with lofts, two bedrooms. In fact, this particular one had Nate Berkus designed cabins. Oh. So they were like New York yeah. penthouses. They had like luxury teepees. You can zip line. You can take your kids to the pool. They had night Bigfoot hikes. So it's really just beautiful. And each of the KOAs have, you know, different, different but things. But they book up so, fast, do they yeah. not? Um, they do, but in the fall, because it's getting a little cooler, people tend to not camp as much. Sure. You can book out, eh, if you want to do a month, but you can book out, you know, a week or two ahead. Oh. And still get a good spot. So, so you can't yeah. take one of those last uh, minute getaways. Absolutely, absolutely. Nice. But then you can head down to Baja, Mexico. If you don't want to rough it and if you don't even like glamping, you can go to Baja, Mexico and go wine tasting. There's okay. a fantastic there. resort. That's good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, yeah, they have this really fantastic <laughs> oh, look how beautiful. wine country. Video like that for yeah, yeah, and yeah. this uh, particular resort has all sorts of water sports. You can kayak, you can hydro bike, which is really neat. You can ski, you can do all sorts of neat stuff. And then you can get their guides to take you into wine country. Some of the neatest themed wineries I've ever seen. Really, really a hidden gem it in Mexico. It's cool to do that to us on a Monday. Yeah. Show us all these yeah. images, and now we got to wait. Have you uh, met Bigfoot? Yeah, no. But uh, how much does it cost for a family of four to just stay there? Um, you can get it's an all suites hotel, so you can sleep four to six to eight, depending on size, anywhere from one thirteen a night to one fifty a night. That's really good. Yeah, that yeah, yeah. Is a yeah, 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 yeah. Good stuff. Good, good, yeah. Good. Donna, all right, Donna. vacation. Yes, nature. Right. Well, yeah. I'm going to take you to the Valley Island, which is in Maui, Hawaii, and a lot of people do not associate camping. 
Yeah, and we yeah. were just there and we saw so many tents set up um, Oceanside, up in the mountains. It is a great, great option for a family of four and you are gonna save a lot of money. Yeah. You can hike, you can go to waterfalls, um, you can hike through the bamboo forest. There are pools of nice, beautiful, clear water. Mm -hmm. There's the black sand beach. The Nature is cool. right at your fingertips. Yeah. And you're gonna take your tent though. Yeah. You are going to take your tent, and it is a, an incredible saving. So resorts um, with airfare might run you about $3,350 for that family of four. Yeah. If you want to camp, let's cut that in half. It's mm -hmm. going to be about $1,600. Sure. And, and weather is get wide cold there. at this yeah. time of the year so The much fall better. is fantastic yeah. because yeah. that humidity is going to be gone. a little bit yeah. less. Yes, you're going to yeah. get away from that humidity. And the nature is right there, and, and you just need your camping essentials. You need your like tent. What? You need the tarp underneath. You need some some warm clothing, um, yeah. even though Hawaii is nice. But sometimes at night it's going to get it's going to get cool, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna get get cool. Get and you need your marshmallow sticks, which <laughs> they can double. <laughs> I love those. My daughter loves those. They can double as hot dog sticks. Oh, um, yeah. You need your water. You need your bug spray. All these things <laughs> can fit in a nice little camping backpack. Um, a lot of them have barbecue, so you're going to save on your meals. You're not going to have to go out and eat all your meals out. It is such a wonderful option when you're thinking about going and doing something with nature. Plus you unplug. You unplug. The gadgets yeah. are yeah. gone. The gadgets the are gone. It's a great thing to do with the family. It really you is. sit and talk. Yes. What? What? Who ever heard what? Of such a crazy Come thing? Come on. You literally <laughs> get grounded because you're on the ground. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I see Thanks, what you're Tracy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Carolyn and Donna, thank you. More information so is on our website. Go there and pick up uh, all that you wish. Um, all right, next we have blogger and DI DIY expert jo Joy Cho, and she's here with some custom painted canvas shoes you can do with your kids next.